Hello and welcome to the third part of our OpenDSME video tutorial series. Today we will show you how to run OpenDSME simulations in Omnet. To begin, just launch Omnet++. Again, we will work on our prepared workspace, which contains the INET and the INET DSME projects. Here you can see how your workspace should look like after the last video. Before we continue, make sure your projects are compiled. Now expand the INET DSME project and open the example.ini. At the bottom you can switch to the source code. This file contains information for the simulation of a simple data collection scenario. Every node emits packets with exponentially spaced time in between them and these packets get directed to the sink in the center. Nodes are statically arranged in circles around the sink as specified by the mobility. Let's run the simulation in this file. And initially, select the CCMA configuration. Here you can see our network of 18 nodes arranged around the sink in the center. These nodes emit traffic towards the sink and since the outer nodes are out of range of the sink directly, this is a multi-hop scenario. Let's launch the simulation and see what happens. Now initially you see routing information being exchanged via broadcast messages. We use a modified version of GPRS routing, which instead of taking the greediest path, looks to take a straight path towards the destination. Alright, because this will take a while, let's speed up the simulation. At the top here, you can see how much simulation time has passed. Now the simulation for CSMA is complete. Let's close this window and open a second simulation for DSME. This time, select DSME from the drop-down menu. We will launch this simulation in express mode from the beginning. Here on the main screen, you can see visual indicators for associated devices and for coordinators that broadcast 802.15.4 beacons. Now that both simulations are done, we can start evaluation of the data collected. Here in the result directory, you can see data collected by Omnet during both simulations. To evaluate this data, create a new analysis file. In this case, we will compare the packet reception rates of both simulations, so we will call it PRR comparison. First, we will import all vector and scalar data in the results directory. Now we can browse through the recorded data of every module in every node in the network. For the moment, we are just interested in the data of the traffic generators. Specifically, we want to know how many of the packets have arrived at the sink. Now let's filter for data from the traffic generators and we only want to know the sync received packet count. 
As you can see, for node 0, which is the sync, the count is 0 because it didn't send any messages. For all other nodes, this number will be up to 100 because that was the amount of packets sent towards the sync. To get a better understanding, let's plot the data. To highlight the differences, we can change the y-axis bounds. Also, let's give the chart a proper name. Now we will repeat the same process for the DSME data. By switching back and forth, you can see the difference between CSMA and DSME. The best effort approach of CSMA has led to the loss of quite some packets. Because of the use of exclusive time slots in DSME, no packet has been lost during this simulation. Let's save this file and conclude the video and the series. You can now install and use OpenDSME for simulation. Thanks for watching.